Welcome back to Skill Guide of the series where our account progress is locked to the skill guide. We must complete the most recent skilling unlock at every level, and we can't do a quest if the reward XP would skip that unlock. And we are working towards getting to Fossil Island. And we're going to get to Fossil Island today, baby. We've got a huge episode planned, so if you enjoy it, give it a like and subscribe if you're new. Huge news to kick off the episode. Our cat that we got last episode. I had some great suggestions from some comments in the last video. Thank you so much. I took my favorites from the comments and polled the members on them, and I probably should have expected this. Our cat is named Midi after my group Iron Man partner for my Zaya Locked series. And I think that's pretty fitting. Topaz and Jade were great suggestions as well, and we had some others that were great too. But, you know, we got to pay respect to Midi, and that way he's with us all the time, even in this series when I'm neglecting him on the Zaya account. All of last episode was spent trying to get our pet kitten so we could do our level 21 thieving unlock, which is Pyramid Plunder. We need to do Room 1, and we've now unlocked the ability to do the quest that gets us to Pyramid Plunder. Then, once we do that, we can progress easily to 25 thieving and go ahead and start the dig site quest. The dig site quest we can finish now. We've got the stats able to finish the dig site quest. Our mining is in a great spot. And our herb law, we can gain this XP from dig site without skipping unlocks. All right, here we go. We have someone wandering out in the desert. Good day, wanderer. Get that cat away from me quickly, please. What's your problem with our cat? Secret passage. Get the cat away from me first, and then I'll tell you. All right, we pick up our cat. All right, where's the secret passage? It's by that group of rocks just to the northeast, but you won't be able to enter. Where does it lead? To Sophenum, the city of the dead. Start the Ichthlorin's little helper quest. Indeed I will. I have those on me already. Now look into my eyes. Look deeply into them. Don't blink. Oh shit. Slowly pick yourself off the ground. Your head is pounding and an irrational sense of guilt nags you. <laughs> it's just like when you have too many beers. Here we go. 20 XP for getting in there, okay. Start minigame. So I think we can just do this. Yep, alright, let's do it. First room. Oh, beautiful. Yep, alright, we're in. Let's pass this spear trap. Deactivated. Excellent. Um, I guess we can do a little bit of searching the urns in here. Beautiful. Maybe I should be checking for snakes as well. There's a snake. Oh, shit. Oh, now I'm poisoned. Why is there so many snakes everywhere? What the fuck? There's snakes in every single one! I never actually normally click check for snakes, but there's snakes in fucking everything! Alright, well, all these dancing snakes can get stuffed. I'm just gonna search this gold chest, that's all I need to do. Perfect! And that is our level 21 thieving unlock. So all of that build up to start this quest, that's all, that's it. We don't even need to continue the quest right now, we're gonna do it later. Because we, we can't finish it, there's a boss fight in it where we absolutely can't do it. We've also got too much thieving XP as a reward from the quest, too much agility XP, and too much woodcutting XP. So we can't do the quest at all in any fashion. Um, that's it. Let's just, you know, let's have a little dance with these snakes. Woohoo! Alrighty, we're standing literally right in front of Fortunato here. I've actually got my little kitty out and about too. Is standing between Fortunato's legs. Even though he's standing right there, you know what? I'm just going to have a go at this... Uh, Pickpocketing market stall. We've got a market guard here too. I'm not scared of them. I'm an absolute fool. <laughs> I'm an absolute fool. I literally was like, oh, we've done our unlock. Our next unlock is 22. We didn't even hit the level. <laughs> All right, this should be a level where the hair members walked away. There we go. 22 thieving. Okay, now we can steal from wine stalls. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. Nice. Okay, we got an empty jug, and now the market guard's attacking us. Leave me alone. God, pickpocketing is so annoying. Come on, please. Yes, there we go. 23 thieving. No unlock, but there is an unlock in the skill guide. Well, not in the skill guide. There is an unlock that we can do at level 23. The axe hut door. Deep wieldy. Let's go. But first, let's go see Wayne at Wayne's Chains for our easy glue scroll. Okay, this is our last step, I think, should be the casket. Yes, cool. All right, so we're going to head into the wilderness straight after this with our lockpick to get into that magic axe hut. But are we going to get a sick reward first? Let's see. Oh, yes! It is a sick reward! 
It's the Black Axe! We needed that! Yes! That's so good! I talked about that in the last episode! Yes! Oh, that's so sick! That's our level 11 woodcutting unlock. Yes, baby! Come on! Fuck yeah! And I was like, nah, we're not doing that because, you know, clue scrolls, RNG, blah blah blah. It's the second you stop caring about it, that you get it. Black Axe! Fuck yeah! Nice! That's so good! Sorry, that's how good! Oh, yes! Alright, that is... We are protecting that with our life. That is so sick! Oh, hang on. Take it off and put it in the bank. Now we've got the Black Axe and the Black Wood Cutting Axe as our placeholders oh, for our tabs. That's so sick! We can't even use it though, because if we cut even a single log, we will go to 42 woodcutting. And we need to get a rune axe first before we do that, so that's okay. Alright, we've got a free axe hut. Let's get in there. Pick lock. There we go, 23 XP. Beautiful. Now we are in Ardoin, which works out fantastically. Because now that we are level 23 and we've completed our unlock, we now have no more unlocks until we hit level 25 to do the dig site quest. And so, because we're trying to get to Fossil Island with the completion of the dig site quest, to gain the thieving XP we need to hit level 25, or just about, I'm going to do the Hazeel Cult quest. And look where we are, right here! They keep breaking into your house, do they? They stole a suit of armor when they first broke in months ago, but they've been back four more times since then and taken nothing. How about you up your security, champ? They seem to be based in a cave just south of the city near the clock tower. Hey, Clivet, how you going? I do not want to work with that Carnelian bloke. Help us bring about the return of Lord Hazeel and you'll be well rewarded. Why did the Carnelians rebel against Hazeel? They serve the pathetic Saradamin. Yeah, that, that's all I need to hear. Saradamin propaganda. And why do you keep breaking into their house, though? Something inside that we need. Yep, we'll help him. Yep, screw those rich, pompous bastards. Alright, we're going to poison his food, so we're using the poison on the cooking range in the basement. Dissolves into the soup. Oh, the humanity, the cruelty, the misery, the pain. My son is a good boy. But how could he give his dinner to Scruffy without having the servants test it for poison first? Oh, Christ, we killed the family dog. No! <laughs> Gotta go tell those cultists that we uh, we messed up their little mission and a dog is dead. We heard all about it. <laughs> all right, well, we proved our loyalty to Hazeel anyway. Okay, let's meet with our leader. All right, let's get on this raft. We should have put the valves in the right order, so we end up. Excellent, here we go. Ooh, a bit spooky. We've got some cultists here. We've got this guy that we haven't met. Alamon. Hello, champion. Looking a bit culty. Ah, well. The butler knew where the hideout was because the butler is a cultist. So let's go back and confront the butler. All right, butler. Hello there. Here your quest is going. Look, look how pale he is. He's definitely a cultist. Alright, the scroll. I'm afraid I've searched high and low, but have so far been unable to locate it. Sure, it's in the house somewhere. Alright, let me just knock at the wall here. Yep, hollow space near the other side. We push against it. Yep. There we go. And from the outside, wouldn't the butler see that there's some kind of, like, additional room at the top of the house? So then go, oh, alright, well that's above the bedroom. So there must be something in the bedroom. Like, come on. Terrible areas. Right, we've returned to our cultist buddy, Alamone. We've brought the Scroll of Restoration. Here you go. Watch Adventurer and witness the glorious rebirth of Hazeel. Yeah, I'm watching. So I've made a deal with some cultists and I'm reborning an ancient Zemorak lord. All just because I didn't want to put up with some pompous, rich family in Ardoin. And here he is, my loyal followers. I've pride in you all. Hey, we were the one that got you back. But there we go, simple, simple game. One quest point, 1,500 thieving XP, 2,000 coins, Hazeel Cult completed, 24 thieving, no unlock, didn't skip anything, and now we are 8 XP from level 25, which we need to start the dig site quest. So that is absolutely bloody beautiful. Awesome bread, huge 25 thieving baby. You can now pickpocket from warriors, steal from fruit stalls, and enter the sorceress's spring garden. Well, that is awesome. 
Hey, just doing some prep for the D-Site quest and stealing that cup of tea that I needed was an easy task in the Varrock area. Good stuff. Love that for us. Start the D-Site quest. Yes, giddy up. All right, very well. If you can get this uh, stamp by the curator of Varrock's museum. Because he's a knowledgeable man. Employs our archaeological expert. Besides, the museum contributes funds to the dig. Yeah, so they're just bypassing scientific rigor because their donor... Their funder is the museum. That's crap. But get... Oh, no! No! What are you doing? What's happening? Run! What's happening here? Can this guard even take this guy down? What are you doing? Ha <laughs> All right, stamp this for us, curator, please. Enjoy your studies. Yep, thanks so much, champ. Oh, we failed our exam anyway. Oh, after all of that. All right, so we need to find some students on the dig side that'll help us with our exam, because, yeah, that was not good. All right, so we gave this guy a cup of tea. Now we're good to pan at the dig site. I'm going to do this until we find a special cup. There we go, so we get a... Panning tray, so we search that, and that gives us an oyster. That's not what we want. So let's pan again. This actually gives a small amount of fishing and mining XP. Luckily, that's okay. That one just contained mud. Now we find a special cup. Nice. Okay, cool. And so this is this here is what we need. What we needed 25 thieving from. Steal from dig site workmen. And we find an animal skull. Excellent. Okay, we also found this teddy and a bush up on the hill. And let's talk to this student here. Because they'll only help us if we find their lost teddy bear. And you know what? We've actually already got it. So here is your teddy bear. All right, this student here. We want some help. Can't do anything unless they find your special cup. Well, here's your animal skull. The study of Earth sciences is the study of Earth, its contents, and its history. Way up. Th you know, thanks for your massive insight there, champion. Ah, yes. Earth sciences, level one. Skill guide of this past the level one exam. Beautiful. Yes, level two exam completed by skill guided. Nice. Yay. And there's skill guided. Finished the level three Earth sciences exam. Nice. We're a bloody genius, mate. Strange talisman. Well, that was quick. Ancient Talisman, very cool. All right, back to the exam center to report our find. Seems to be a ceremonial ornament to a god named Zaros. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's go. Let's have a look down this winch. Okay, let's lower ourselves down here. Operate. Oh, we're in a cavern with Doug Deeping. Hey, champ. <laughs> Doug Deeping. <laughs> Terry, we've got something we need checking out. Let's uh, let's show him the unidentified liquid, I guess. What's this? This is a very dangerous liquid called nitroglycerin. Don't drop it or it will explode. Oh dear. Ammonium nitrate. Hoo hoo hoo. Alright, let's mix the nitroglycerin and the ammonium nitrate. Herblore XP. Ooh, mixed chemicals. I'm guessing that's what we needed herblore for, maybe? Uh, let's add ground charcoal to it. Ooh. And add this Arsenia root. Looks just right, does it? Chemical compound. Excellent. Let's go blow some shit up. Right, I guess let's use the chemical compound on the brick. And we need a way to ignite it. Well, let's use a tinderbox on it. And let's quickly run away. Luckily, he does that for us. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> that was uh that was a big explosion ah skeletons skeletons and a ancient symbol on the ground in here and some you know silver rocks if we wanted to mine some silver this must be one of the worst places to mine silver in the game dead set found it in the hidden cavern beneath the dig site and it's crawling with skeletons Seems the followers of Saradamin have tried to cover up the evidence of a Zaros altar. Excellent. Take this gold as your reward. Two gold bars. And there we go. The dig site has been completed. Huge XP drops. 23 herb lore. Beautiful. 
65 mining still, almost at 66. 23 herb lore is great because we don't skip an unlock because we would have unlocked our next one at level 22. In terms of our major goal of finishing Bone Voyage and getting to Fossil Island, we have now ticked off the dig site quest. Now we just need 100 museum kudos and we are good to get there. Oh my god, this came out in 2017? Shit! Oh my god, I remember when it got polled. When... Oh wow, yeah right. <laughs> That makes me feel old, but yes. All right, let's go to this museum. All right, and Historian Minus is the guy we're looking for. Hello. We have some information that might be useful because we've been questing. Told them about four quests, 48 out of 230 kudos now. That is bloody excellent. We also have an XP lamp here, which gives 1,000 experience to any skill over level 20. And I'm not sure what to put that towards. I guess we'll just keep putting all our lamps and everything in prayer as we, yeah, want to train everything else in other ways. So, yeah, we'll just put it on prayer for now. Yep, 1,000 prayer XP. Excellent. And there we go. We've just found an old symbol. This thing here we can put in one of the display cases for 10 kudos. Oh, yes. Same with the ancient coin. That's awesome. Pottery goes into this one. Beautiful, that's 10 more kudos, fantastic. The old symbol goes into this one, and the ancient coin goes into this one. All right, excellent, we've now found an old coin. So we had an ancient coin, now we have an old coin. Yes, and that's our last one, ancient symbol, good stuff. All right, that'll be taking us to 98 kudos. All right, now we just need to go and do, I guess we do the demon slayer quest, right? Yeah, we can use this. We've got defense XP to get to level 20, so we can melee Delrith, no worries. Yeah, let's do Demon Slayer. All right, well, he's given us our silver light key, so that's good. Yes, see Foamy's doing Demon Slayer as well. Lead the way, champion. We might have some lynxes laying around, but this is a lot of bones on the ground. All right, we've come to see Treyborn, and we have 25 bones. Almost up to our big boss fight. We've got our three keys, we've got some... Random gnome food, which we probably won't even need. Uh, but we've come for silverlight. We've got the three keys, mate. Yes. A very shiny sword. No, not silverlight. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Oh, okay, we'll have to take on some dark wizards. Oh, shit. Yep, train defense. There we go. All right. Take it on, Delrith. Bring it on, buddy. Oh my god, a water talisman. Oh my god, we needed that for our runecraft. Yes, that's sick. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god, that's so... What are the chances of that? Literally, I'll have to look it up. And now Delroth is going to die. Yes, you get in that vortex, champion. Woohoo. There you go. Oh shit, run. <laughs> We've finished Demon Slayer. Nice. We'll describe it for you. Yep, excellent. 103 out of 230 museum kudos. If we check out our quest list and look at Bone Voyage, we now have all the requirements completed. Yes! Giddy up! This is big! This is huge! We've helped us a great deal around the museum, and we have our Earth Science Exam Certificates. <laughs> Alright. Received word from the dig site the canal has been constructed and the barge is awaiting us. We just have to go and see the site foreman. Let's start the Bone Voyage quest. Huge! Sign me up! We've learned from our previous attempts that we need a sturdier type of wood to keep the barge afloat. None of the lumber here is appropriate. I've arranged a fairly generous deal between myself and the sawmill over in Hasidious Woodcutting Guild. Alright, what business do we have? I have a proposal for your guild sawmill. It is from the Varrock Sawmill. Yes, I've got it right here. Excellent. Hand it over. I'll sign it on behalf of the guild. Yep, there we go. Ship the redwood planks over to Varrock Sawmill immediately. Redwood planks, eh? <laughs> Too bad they don't exist. All right, the Woodcutting Guild signed the trade agreement. Mate, here you go. Excellent. The voyage is cursed. <laughs> All right, well, how are we going to lift the cursed? All right, Jack Seagull, what are you doing here? He's drinking, yep. What the... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ever made any cursed voyages? Here we go. There we go. Okay. 
The crew simply drink the potion before they be set in sail, and the next thing they know, they'll be safely at their destination. First is uses a good luck charm, something related to our expedition, a lucky bone. And the second is a potion of sea legs. We drink it before our voyage. Okay, he's going to go with the potion, but the junior navigator thinks he wants the lucky charm. It's okay, we can get both. Why would we suggest that? You can have this free of charge. Bring me back any interesting bones you find. Yeah, nice. Bone charm. A simple herbal remedy containing vodka. Lots of vodka. <laughs> Alright, no worries. He needs two bottles of vodka and an unfinished Marantil potion. Alright, no worries. We've got that, mate. Potion of Sea Legs. Those of you who have done the Bone Voyage quest know what we're about to do. And I obviously haven't done it since release. And this is going to be grim. Alright, here's the Potion of Sea Legs to the lead navigator. And we'll give the junior navigator their lucky bone charm. Perfect. We've got everything we need to set off. We're ready to go when you are. Mate, I'm ready. Let's do this. Each member of the crew, apart from the junior navigator, take a sip of the potion of sea legs. Doesn't take long for the potion to take effect, causing them to pass out. So they're all cooked. That's great. Uh-oh. Full speed ahead, baby. Come on. We're doing good. We're doing good. Wind's blowing us off course. Slow down. No. No, the progress bar is going down. Yeah, I'm clicking the bar left, you dick. There we go. Are we back on course now? If this is what... they've, I like how they were like, nah, this is not what sailing is. Because if this is what sailing is, the skill would be dog shit. Oh, I'm keeping it steady. Come on, yes, the progress bar's full. Yes, come on. Nice. And there it is. We've completed Bone Voyage. Quest point access to Fossil Island, baby. Woohoo. Nice. You got us here in one piece. I want to start exploring the island as soon as possible. Fossil Island Notebook. No, I don't think we care about that. Let's travel to the shore. Oh, yes, we're here. We're here. That's so big. So big. I should have brought stuff to build the bank chest. Um, I've only got three birdhouses, but we have three unlocks, so that's all good. We'll just use those. We need a hammer and a chisel. Oh, wait, no, we don't because they're already made. Oh, well, take them anyway, whatever. All right, let's knock out a few of our unlocks that we've skipped. This is awesome. This is only a few of them. And there's so many more knock-on effects from ones that we've had to sort of postpone because of Fossil Island as well. Another thing we want to do is unlock these magic mush trees. That'll be premium. It's going to be so much easier to come here once we can get the magic level to enchant our own dig site pendants. Um, but that's not until 49 magic, I believe. Yeah, level 3 enchant. So that's a little while off. So we'll have to keep coming here the long way, which isn't too bad. It's these things I'm looking for. I probably ran past one already, but this was one of our mining unlocks from earlier on. There it is. Volcanic Ash from 22 Mining. We skipped that at 22 Volcanic Ash, and now we finally can mine that. So tick that unlock off the list. Fantastic. Now that we're on Fossil Island, I'm going back, and even though we've ticked off past unlocks recently, you know, now that we're going to be ticking off a lot of them with Fossil Island, I think it's important to mention again that I've got a Google Doc in the description where all current unlocks that we're hunting for and all skipped unlocks or every single one of them that I wrote down and can remember uh, are listed in a document for you to go and peruse and yeah if I have missed any let me know I'm pretty sure I've got them all in there but yeah if you ever want to know sort of what we're working on towards for each unlock for each skill it's in the description Google Doc you should be able to access it just fine and it'll list all the skipped unlocks there why we skip them and when we're coming back to them so tick off Fossil Island Volcanic Ash right there the next one we're going to tick off is normal birdhouses. So there's a normal birdhouse that we'll fill with seeds. Yes, beautiful. Okay, that one's that one. Well, technically, I guess will be done when we uh, come back to that once it's filled with seeds. We have an oak birdhouse here as well. So let's put the oak birdhouse up with some seeds in there. Beautiful. Oh, it's ten seeds, not four. Oh, four is a patch. All right, well, I have to grab some more seeds on our way back through. But if I use this, is this going to activate? Oh, yeah, cool. All right, now we can use that magic mush tree. Awesome. So we'll go and unlock the other ones of those as well so we can at least get through to our birdhouses quickly. 
because this walk all the way around here was pretty grim. We've also unlocked, by unlocking Fossil Island, the Volcanic Mine minigame. Something I've literally, I don't think I've ever really done. I may have done it once on the main and that's it. Uh, but that is a way to get our Dragon Pickaxe that we had to skip. I'm pretty sure they did add that right. You can get like a broken Dragon Pickaxe or something and then you can um, repair it there. Or, I don't know, I'll have to look into it. But that might be an option to get our Dragon Pickaxe while we don't have the combat skills to get one. But we'll look into that. There's so many like knock-on effects with the unlocks that we get now with Fossil Island. Like, for example, these birdhouses. Yeah, sure, it's our hunter unlock that we skipped. But in the future, there are so many farming unlocks, for example, where the seeds, especially once we're, you know, once we're at these levels, once we're at low level, very difficult to get. The reason why we skipped a level 36 crafting unlock, the fruit basket was because getting a willow seed to grow to get the branches that you make the fruit basket from was way too difficult at our level. But through bird nests, right, from birdhouses, we can easily get that, get the willow tree at 30 farming, and keep progressing farming beyond there. Also got some ammonite crabs here, I guess, that we could train on in the future. We've got hardwood tree patches here for our future farming training. All right, and our final birdhouse is our willow one in and as Ghanaian seeds for these lucky birds. Now let's head over and go underwater. Oh, look at us, we're swimming. It was only last episode that we could actually go underwater for the first time and now look at us go, we're swimming underwater at Fossil Island. And we've discovered a farming patch, two of them, seaweed patches. And I'm pretty sure just over time, don't seaweed spores just like appear on the ground, maybe? Let's go, let's just have a little swim around while we wait for these spores. And uh, let's just go here. There's a very important area for us. This is drift net fishing in there. And there's been a fair few unlocks where I've said drift net fishing, you know, we can't progress past drift net fishing because we can't get to Fossil Island if we look at the fishing skill guide. We have drift net fishing at level 47 with 44 hunter, so we'll have to train that up as well. Ah, and as I'm speaking, look at that. Seaweed spore on the ground. Nice. Okay. We'll just wait for a few of those to, to spawn elsewhere as well. I'm sure we'll see them. But now that we have unlocked Fossil Island and can eventually get to drift net fishing, you know, this is one where I kind of just said, look, we can't get to Fossil Island. We're not going to need to progress through all this stuff. Now we can. Fishing is now basically unlocked for us to progress further because we need to get the 65 eventually for Karam Wines to do our uh, catch up on that. We need to finish Taibo One Eye Trio uh, with that. And what that does also is completely unlock strength for us because strength right now we are tied with the Halberds. We can't really touch those at the moment. The thing that's locking us out of strength is Leaping Trout, right? We need 48 fishing to do barbarian fishing. So I thought, yep, we can do that. Now we can, because we're at Fossil Island. Uh, just very briefly in the Halberds, that once we catch up on some of these other Fossil Island unlocks, we will be going to catch up on weapons that we've missed. So doing things like Underground Pass, Regicide, and other weapon-related quests, definitely next on the horizon as well. So be looking out for that. The other thing that Barbarian Fishing and Strength Training unlocks is Herblaw. Because we've had to skip a lot of Barbarian Potions. Every single one of these mixes require Row from Barbarian Fishing. And since we will be able to unlock that and get that Row, we'll be able to make Barbarian Potions. Ah, oh, the fucking world is our oyster, mate. We are, we are laughing now that we're on Fossil Island. Now, how many seaweed spores are needed to plant in a patch. Is it one? Is it three? Is it a different number? I don't know. So we've got one of them. We'll see if we can do this. Ah, but it doesn't even matter because there's three seaweed spores over here. Excellent. So now we should be able to catch up on our farming unlock. Beautiful, it was only one. So giant seaweed planted in there. Come on, one of them should have grown. Nice. Oh, they both grew. Yes, awesome. All right, this will be our caught up on our farming unlock. 
Ah, now, quick calculation. I can't actually go and collect all of my birdhouses that I set out yesterday. I need to go catch a Spined Larupia first and do our level 31 unlock, and then we can do it since the birdhouses actually give a lot of XP. So that's great. Okay, here we go. So what we do, we use, we go Trap Pit. Here we go. We now have a Spiked Pit that used one of our logs. We then tease the Spined Larupia. A, And then we jump over the Spiked Pit. Hey, we got hit before. Shit. And then this thing will hopefully fall in the pit and die. Unfortunate, but yeah, we did it. There we go. Hey, medium task in the Western Provinces area. That's beautiful. Alrighty, we're here we are. We luckily did have heaps of fur in the bank, so that's great. Um, turns out you can actually use the Taddy Larupia fur for the clothing. Um, and the Larupia fur itself is just for the hat. So we are going to buy one of the hat, and I guess we'll get the top as well. Then for the polar cabot, uh, we'll get some polar camo legs, why not? Felt it weasel, we actually have enough to get everything. Desert devil, we can get everything. Common cabot, we can get everything. I'm pretty sure all of these things are purely cosmetic as well. It doesn't even help with the capturing of things. So I guess we have a cool Larupia hat now anyway. And we've got some mix and match clothing. All right, and here's our first birdhouse, our Willow birdhouse. 560 XP, 32 Hunter, there we go. Uh, no unlock on the skill guide message there, but we can now barehand young implings as well. So we will have to do that ourselves. Luckily, we've got easy access to Cenaris now, so I guess it kind of was worth doing the last city in the last episode. All good. Um, we don't get any XP for setting one up, but... So let's just set one up. Oh, I forgot my seeds. Oh, damn. Alrighty, time to check the oak birdhouse as well. Yes, we've got some bird nests, but unfortunately no seeds. Okay. That's all right. Let's check our normal birdhouse. And no bird's nest there. Ah, oh, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> all right, well, we just caught our young impling jar barehanded. Uh, took off our net, and there it is. Barehanded young impling at level 32. See if we get something good. No. Uh, let's just do it now that I'm recording again for, yeah, proof. There we go. See? Net in the inventory. All right, and here we have our barb-tailed cabots here. So let's set a trap. We have logs and a knife. Oh, I'm a, I'm a genuine fool. What am I? Oh, my God. Deary, deary me. What the? Come on. What? Oh, okay, I'm digging some saltpeter here for the reason I just found out. I was just looking around because I want to plant my apple sapling, right? And I learned that we only have normal compost, but if you add saltpeter, three of them to compost, it turns into super compost. That's bloody awesome. And we have volcanic ash, so there's some ultra compost for us. Okay, so if our apple sapling dies, it... It's just, you know, that sucks because we've got ultra compost. You can't say I haven't done everything to protect it. All right, big moment for the account. Our first fruit tree, apple sapling in. Nice. And ultra compost in as well. That's awesome. Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, and we got a ring bird nest though, not a seed one. There's an emerald ring, so could be worse. That's another dueling ring for us, I guess. All right, now this time we can actually set a boulder trap. Excellent. Okay. Let's just hope one of these kebits gets under it and gets trapped. Oh, yep, of course. Deadfall trap that we constructed has collapsed. I brought lots of logs in case this failed a couple times, but please don't let it fail like six times. That would be so painful. Yes. All right, excellent. Check boulder. This is our level 33 hunter unlock. Nice. 168 XP, some bones, and an item that I have never used in game before. Yeah, I mean, why would you come and catch these things if you weren't following the skill guide? It is a wieldable harpoon that you can use for fishing. What the fuck? I had no idea this existed. Why am I holding it like that? But, like, this is... We can use this for fishing. So, amazing. Amazing. 
There are actually seven construction unlocks we can do at level 34. Um, so we're probably going to level up before we even finish them all, but that's just been the nature of how we've been doing construction anyway. Uh, I need to buy some planks while we're here. The one normal plank is actually for the easy task in the Varrock area, so that's great. And then the oak logs we need for our construction unlocks. So there goes a decent chunk of our cash, but that's okay. It's been a while since I've been in the house. This place is looking good. Um, I can't remember if this crafting table is the one that we need because at level 34 construction, we also have crafting table level three. So if we got to upgrade this bench, crafting table three, yes, molten glass. Perfect, okay. Two experience, two. Two experience for that. Jesus. All right. Well, that's <laughs> that's one of our unlocks anyway. That's that's done. Uh, next, we need to go into our games room. Combat room, we want a glove space. So is that storage space maybe? Let's have a look. Glove rack. Perfect. Yep. Okay. There's our nice gloves. Do our boxing. Okay. We're going back into our leagues hall as well. I believe is over here. Now, it's a shame I didn't play much leagues on this account because we could have actually got some stuff to put in these on these trophy pedestals and things like that, but that's okay. We've at least built the, the stands and the league statue themselves. We're also building a, that's trophy case, outfit stand. Here we go. We are building oak outfit stand. Nice. All right, we'll fill these things with the next league. Hopefully it's not as big a difference between Leagues 3 and Leagues 4 as there is for Leagues 5. Okay, we're also going back to the games room, which I believe is up here. Is this our games room? Yes, prize chest. Here we go. We are building a oak prize chest. Beautiful. Alrighty, back in the house. We've got a few more upgrades to do. We're going to get rid of our shitty old bed. And we're going to build ourselves a nice large oak bed this time. There we go. We've upgraded to a double bed for when we have company. That's all right. If we're going to have people over, we're going to want to cook them something nice. So a large oven just isn't going to cut it, I don't think. I think instead we're going to need a proper steel range in here. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to need some more crockery. We'll get rid of our shelves and we'll build some nice oak shelves one. Beautiful. Okay, oak shelves. There we go. That is all our level 34 construction unlocks. We are going to run into the issue with our construction. We've got a couple more oak planks in the bank. Not many, literally a couple. We've got a couple of teak logs in the bank um, in order to make teak planks when we get up to those. But yeah, very, very quickly we are about to run out of supplies. And you may be familiar that we can't currently chop any trees because our wood cutting stops us from doing that because we need because we need the dreaded rune axe at 41 before we hit level 42. Because our level 42 unlock, the juniper tree requires an axe, so we are at our wit's end with that one. Okay, come on, here we go. Willow Birdhouse, give me a willow seed, please. That's a negative. I have been mining, that's why we have 252 volcanic ash in the inventory. But all right, we'll set up another willow birdhouse there. Ah, no seeds, but that's all right. 34 hunter, we can now place teak birdhouse traps on Fossil Island, excellent. Well, I have one right here. Teak birdhouse, nice. That'll be a good amount of XP. Okay, I did mention that we were gonna be doing some fishing as well as our hunter training, because at 35, we unlock Bluegill with 43 fishing, and we have 38. And it's actually really easy to get to 43 fishing. We literally have our two level 38 unlocks, which are the cave eel and the rainbow fish. So we're gonna knock out rainbow fish right now. Fly fishing rod and stripy feathers. There we go. <laughs> that took a long time, that was awkward. Raw rainbow fish, nice. Okay, cool, that's our Level 38 unlock there. Now, conveniently, we are quite close to the ruins of Camdozel, so let's run up there and go get ourselves a eel. And we're back in the ruins of Camdozel. I love this place. Love this place. This reminds me of the earliest episodes of this series. This reminds me of this series, this place, this color scheme, everything. This track, it's awesome. Uh, that's not the eel we're after. We're after a cave eel, I believe. There it is, raw cave eel, beautiful. Okay, that's our level 38 fishing unlock. 
I think what we're going to do in order to get 40 fishing, and even once we catch a lobster, we'll probably do some until we hit 43 fishing. Won't get many runs in, but I might do some temperos, I think. Oh, I think it's going to be literally like one fish short. No! Wait, yes! I got it! Yes! Oh my god, that was so clutch. That storm intensity was on like 99%. Holy shit. Yes, that was the most unnecessarily stressful Temporos kill ever. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Okay, I'm so glad I got that done. Alright, that's awesome. We got a Temporos run in when we hit our level 40 fishing unlock and we didn't accidentally skip a level 35 construction unlock. Even though in previous clips I may have done them all. I can't even remember. It's... it's... Oh, I'm a goose. Alright. Let's... Yeah, let's not make this mistake again, but let's just get our rewards. We've got five permits. Can we get anything cool? Can we get anything cool? That's not that cool. Spirit flakes, yeah, okay. Lobsters, we're about to go get them ourselves. More spirit flakes. Raw pike. That is beyond shit. That's so crap. We couldn't even get a casket. Oh, man. Oh, well. No, that, that's good. Look, we got it done. If I did a tier list... Revised for my solo playing the game. Definite D tier. Climb rope emote. We didn't even get a collection log. Great. All right. Now, please cheer me up. Come on. Please let this be grown. It's like when you walk towards a purple light at Tombs of a Masket. Come on. Please. Please be grown. Yes! Oh, giddy up. Okay. Fuck yeah. Finally. Because that was our only apple tree seed. That would have been pretty grim if we couldn't get that. So check health. Yes, 28 farming. We can now grow wild blood hops. And that was a medium task in the Karunja area. Yes, that is so good. We'll pick an apple just to, you know, prove that yep, we've completely checked health and harvested our apple tree. I'm just going to leave it there as a testament to how good we are. That is bloody awesome. All right, wild blood hops, level 28. Payment nasturtiums. Oh, we've got those as well. Let's just hope I have the actual hops. I can't even remember, so... Straight to our nearest hops patch. No time to waste at all. What do we even have in here? Some Asgarnian hops. Ah. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Alright, we don't have Asgarnian hops from that... It hadn't updated yet. We had dead barley. Yay. Wild blood hops. In and pay Vasquin. Accept my nasturtiums. Got you some flowers. Yes! All right, cool. That is going to grow. And wild blood hops, we are going to need a few of them. So I'm actually going to use this super compost. Oh, I should have got ultra compost. That's all right. Super compost will give us enough because we'll need these for brewing in the future. All right, now this is some cracked content. This is cracked content. Fishing lobsters. Yes, our first ever lobster catch on the account. That's awesome. 40 fishing. We're going to sit here for... Oh, yeah. This is nice. We'll probably do a little more construction in reality and um, get up to the next level, do our unlocks, and, and then go for a couple kills at Temporos because, yeah, just can get some cool rewards for that, as I said. Another thing we can do, which is nice, is, yeah, while we fish, we can just browse the skill guide. And are you ready for something absolutely groundbreakingly massive for the account, if I end up using it? This is huge. I saw... I remember the, I remember seeing that this update happened around League's time, but I didn't really... I hadn't really looked at it about... I hadn't really looked at it yet, and honestly, I kind of forgot about it. Um, because, you know, whenever I pull out the skill guide, we normally see the classic old interface. This is an option for us going forward. I haven't even looked at this yet, but I know it exists. Oh. My. God. Look at this. And it can be resized, right? Can't it? Or can it not be resized? Because I'm playing on bloody... Look at it. Look at this. We're currently on the cage unlock lobster pot. Now, is this the skill guide you want to see going forward in future episodes? Or do you want to see the classic one? Or do we want the classic skill guide that looks like this? All right, we've got some stuff to do. Our next construction unlocks. We also need to talk to Serenity here. And uh, what can you do for me? I'm hoping... No, we don't care about family crest. 
I'm also something of a mm, a painter. All right, we have met some important people, and we would like a portrait. Um, we would like one of Eleanor of Ardoin, please. A thousand coins. So. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Cool. Let's go hang that in our house. <laughs> All right, now, at level 35, we can build a new room, a quest hall. So I don't think we have one of those already. That's a leagues hall. That's a something. Yeah, level 35 unlocked. 25! Oh, my God. I can't even fucking afford it. That's our whole cash stack. Shit. Ah, well, all right. We'll, we'll build that last, I suppose. Uh, we can build a teak armchair, so let's come in here and remove, yeah, one of these chairs. Yep, see you later. Uh, teak armchair. Wait. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're not even level 30. Yeah, I'm just going to build a single oak chair then, and that should get us the level to 35, but then we'll have to go get more stuff. Well, there we go, 35 construction. You can now build a quest hall, teak armchair, whetstone, tool store 3... Fire of Nourishment, Fire of Eternal Light, which, no, we cannot do. Um, small Portrait. Excellent. Okay, then. Well, let's, yeah, remove this cursed chair that we just built. And build instead the teak armchair that I wanted to build from the start. There we go. Okay, well, that's one unlock ticked off. Next, we're going with a Tool Store 3. So, Tool Store 2, I believe this is. Yep, and Tool Store 3 with two oak planks. Beautiful. And that means we need to remove our repair bench. So the repair bench get in the bin. Now we're building a whetstone, which, yes, I use the extra oak planks. So we're going to have to go back and get oak planks for that. And we're going to have to quickly make some cash just to be able to afford our bloody um, quest hall. Damn. All right. Build hotspot. We have the level. We have the cash. Quest trophies. Let's build this. There goes a shitload of our cash stack, but that's okay. We have... Here we go, portrait space. Eleanor, love that. Oh, cute! <laughs> a thousand coins for that. What the... We can now build repair space, here we go. We can build that whetstone. Nice. Okay, and two teak planks, what was I doing there. Oh, that's for a future unlock. Okay. That's all our level 35 unlocks now. Perfect. We, yeah, we, we can't make the fire of eternal light and fire of nourishment because it, it requires like 66 fire making. Um, wait, 35. Yeah, 66 fire making. It's not that possible. <laughs> it's not 66 possible. So yeah, we will return to fire making in the near future, but now we have, yeah, a little bit of, um, Wiggle room construction XP wise to get up to 36, uh, at which point we will be stalled for a touch. But this lets us have a bit of space to do some Temporos runs. So back to Temporos. Nice. Hey, and there's a medium combat task the Lone Angler. Hey, and a new PB. All right, as predicted, this will be our last Temporos run. We're almost at 43 fishing, where we will unlock our first bit of aerial fishing. Uh, so even if we don't hit the level, I'll probably just fish some more lobbies or something like that. Or even do a quick run of Fishing Trawler to finish off our Angler outfit. But here we go. How good is that? 4KC now. And we have 8 permits in total to check. So, you know, we're not really a chance of getting anything. I don't really expect anything. But you never know. You never know. You never know. So, come on. Give us a cool reward. Lobbies. <laughs> okay. Salmon. Mackerel. Oh, God. More lobbies. More mackerel. Come on now. More mackerel. Fuck off with the mackerel. Steel nails is okay. And spirit flakes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that is grim. And I've done solos before, right? Where I've chopped the kraken. And I've, you know, repaired the net and fixed the railing and everything upstairs. We've literally just been bailing and repairing leaks. And we are full contribution with time left. So this is bloody great. No angler piece. We got two old boots, so we got some more lobbies and whatnot. I guess we'll just bank it. But yeah, 995 fishing XP. That takes us to 43. We can now catch bluegill on Mulch Island with 35 hunter. Well, looks like we're going to have to go on that birdhouse run that I left set up. 
Awesome, that'll get us 35 Hunter. Alright, we'll come back to Fishing Trawler another time. But that was so good. Uh, here we go, a Teak Birdhouse. Give us a bird nest. Oh, yes! 35 Hunter. We can now catch Snowy Night, Butterflies, and Bluegill on Mulch Island. Beautiful. We also have... A seed nest. If this gives us a willow seed, which is pretty common, we are laughing big time. Final one. We've got the XP to work with. Yep, all good. Okay, no bird's nest there. So we'll check those teak birdhouses later after we get our unlocks. Can we just get a willow seed from this? Please give me a willow seed. Oh, the acorn. Ooh, damn. Not sure how much XP this is going to give me, but we are very close to our next farming level. 64, yes, all right. Are you ready for this? Level 29 farming. You can now grow gout weed if you've completed Edgar's Ruse because Edgar's Ruse gives us a whopping 11,000 Herblore XP. We would need to get to level 40 Herblore and clean an irrit leaf. So this is not as straightforward as I thought, even getting to 30 farming. So before we even think about our willow seed now, we need to think about getting past the Goutweed. So completing the Edgar's Ruse quest. A few new music tracks, that's alright. How good. Hey, Bodhi. What's going on, guys? Bodhi here. Let's go Mulch Island, baby. Got nothing in our glove slot. We've got some Kingworms on the ground here that we're going to pick up for a bit of bait. Not going to stay here very long. And we've got some other adventurers putting themselves through this uh, absolute hell as well. When you're at the low levels, this stuff does suck. Oh, this is an infinite pile, is it? Oh, I didn't even realize that. That's bloody nice. Give me the bird, champ. Here we go. Got free rain. Still got the bird. Beautiful. Let's catch ourselves a bluegill. And there we go. Hey, that's a medium task in the Karen and Kevos area. This is bloody awesome. So as you can see, that gets us a whopping 12 fishing XP and 16 hunter XP. Wow. Or maybe it's like 16.5 or something, but amazing. All right, and there we go. I just wanted to do it until I got one for proof of concept. You can also get mulch pearls and cut them into chunks later. Um, but yeah, you can get mulch pearls here and you can trade to get angler outfit pieces. So we could get our angler boots for 100 pearls and I would literally only just got one. And you can also get wieldable fishing rods and a fish sack to store your fish in. But oh my god, no way. They need to buff this, this shitty activity immediately. There's another combat task. Temporos Novice. Very, very good. That's 5kc. Alright, ending this game as quick as possible because we're basically at our next construction level. We can get it, so it's all good. But yeah, we'll just um, make this our last game and then open some rewards and see what we can get. Some spirit flakes, more spirit flakes, some more spirit flakes, tuna, oak planks, hey that's great for construction, raw pike, raw salmon, raw lobster, more lobbies, more lobbies, and some seaweed, well, mm, not, not amazing, but the planks are really good because we're actually basically out of oak planks. And there we go, there's 36 construction. We can now build dragon bitter barrels, so we're going to have to go do some brewing. Oak trophy case, teak wall decoration, and a mounted bass, which we can't get until 46 fishing, because we need 46 to catch bass. So, that's construction sort of... We're going to avoid leveling up for a while. Luckily, this does only give 5 XP. 46 fishing... Unlocks some big net fishing, some bass, and some catfish. We get to go below Ice Mountain yet again. Come on, baby. That's exciting. Fish bass for the rest of it until 47, and hopefully get ourselves the big bass, because that is going to be something that will tie up our construction for a while. And there is a raw catfish. That thing looks pretty cool. Hey, and there we go. There's our first bass, and that is a achievement diary task. Ah... Okay, there must be a candor and diary step to do with cooking a bass. Maybe catch and cook a bass in Catherby. Ah, well, that requires 43 cooking. So, yeah, we'll be on that one for a while. So, I, I don't plan on taking another detour to go and do 
some cooking right now. We'll do that later on. 47 fishing. That is very awesome. Members can now access drift net fishing on Fossil Island. That is so sick. Okay, you should only have to catch one more here. There we go. One more. Beautiful. 36 hunter now. We can now catch earth implings. So I guess we'll head... Oh, that's also... A... That's also a total level of 725. That's great. Okay, I'm on the hunt for an Earth Impling. There's one just there. I uh, probably should highlight them using my plugin. Hopefully the plugin isn't too annoying for everyone to watch. It's just, it does make it so much easier. Especially because I have a bad habit of playing like really zoomed out. Um, which, I don't know, must be why my eyes are absolutely cooked because like... I play on fixed mode, so my screen's already super small. But there is our Earth Impling. But then playing like this, I'm sure looks better. But like, imagine the functionality of actually playing like this every day. All right, let's crack our first Earth Impling. That is our level 36 Hunter Unlock. Can we get something cute from it? No fucking way. That's actually so... I literally just fucking mentioned that we didn't have an Earth Talisman. I'd literally get an Earth Tiara straight away. That's actually so sick. Fuck yeah. Now we can get Runecraft into the double digits. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> How good is that? Yes. I guess they are fucking Earth Implings, aren't they? All right, we're actually going to do some runecraft before we go back to Puro Puro because I want to get rid of these books of arcane knowledge in my inventory. And I'm waiting for my home teleport to tick down like any good player, so may as well be productive and um, use my crafting unlocks. And so we're going to make one ruby bracelet because that's our other level 42 crafting unlock because... Unless I did do it, I think I basically said we unlocked Ruby Bracelet Gold Tiara, but I went straight ahead and just made the fish bowl and went on with our Recipe for Disaster stuff. So there's our Ruby Bracelet done, and then Golden Tiara. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now we've got two of those things. But yeah, so what we're going to do is take our Water Talisman with some Rune Essence I have, craft some Water Runes. We're also going to do the Level 6 Unlock which is mist runes at the water altar as well. I have an air talisman, an air runes, pure essence, and a binding necklace that I made. So as soon as this ticks down, we are good to go. All right, some rune craft. This is going to be painful later on, but there is something satisfying about like training rune craft sort of the traditional way, running to the altar and uh, using the talisman to get inside. Now, I'm not going to get tricked. I am going to dump these on the ground. Um... I don't want to accidentally, like, craft other runes as well. So I'm just going to drop everything and then use craft rune to do our water runes. Beautiful. Six rune craft. We can now craft miss runes from pure rune essence. And that is an easy task in the Lumbridge and Draenor area as well. So that is fantastic. I think the Lumbridge and Draenor Diary, unless I'm mistaken, should be fairly open to us now. Hans, chop and burn some oak. Fuck me. <laughs> so we can't actually do that. Shit. We can do everything except we literally don't have the woodcutting XP to chop and burn oak logs in Lumbridge. That sucks. But what doesn't suck is if we use these air runes on the altar here, since we have a binding necklace on, since we have a talisman, I think this should make mist runes. Yes, it does! That's so sick. Okay, cool. That's awesome. And we have 2 XP left until level 7. But that is our rune crafting unlock. And I don't really care about maximizing the use of these books anymore. I just want to get rid of them. Um, if they'll be out of my inventory, I no longer have to worry. 30 rune craft XP from one of them. 7 rune craft. Say goodbye to them. They've been a staple of our inventory for too long. 35 XP. There we go. Done. Cool. Now we have 7 Runecraft and we have our free inventory back again. Alright, and this should be our last trip until we hit our next unlock. Beautiful. 9 Runecraft. You can now craft Earth Runes. And I made a massive deal about getting that Earth Tiara and Earth Talisman from the Earth Infling. But they're literally 1 in 10. But still, I don't care. <laughs> it was just the first one back to back. Giddy up, baby. Fire Talisman. That is sick. 
Didn't get a single medium clue from all of our earth implings, but yeah, we got the fire talisman, so that's good. Got another easy clue from a gourmet just then. And um, yeah, we should be right to get the level and get out of here. I'm just waiting for one of these things to come back. Come on. Come on, come back. Here we go. Gourmet. No. Why every time? There we go. 37 Hunter. You can now trap prickly kebbets. That's going to be much better XP than what we're doing right now. Okay, last chance for another easy casket because a gourmet impling just flew into the bank. And here it is. Come here, baby. Come here, buddy. Give me another easy. No. Okay, we only got two caskets. But hey, that's pretty decent. And we got a nice maze random too. Some extra nature runes and some cash because we are dangerously poor at the moment. But can I get something cool from the two caskets? Yes, nice! Black wizard hat trimmed. Love that. And some more nature runes. That's excellent. I mean, not as good as our salad hat that we made ourselves, but, you know, still a unique. That's nice. And... Blue fire lighters. <laughs> Uh, do you like the collection log pop-up that comes up over the clue like that? Like, I guess it's better when you don't play on fixed mode, but... Um, yeah, if you want me to remove that in the future, let me know, and I, we can just see it in the chat box. I, I kind of like the pop-up, it just does get annoying sometimes when it goes over the top of the clue, but... I realise that with the last Hunter level, you know... Hey, I'll finish that point in a second because we've already caught one. Beautiful. Kevit Spike. Awesome. I'm going to catch a couple of these, just so we have a couple of Kevit Spikes, because these are a later fletching unlock to make Kevit Bolts. Um, yeah, I realised that, you know, I could, I should have used probably the XP between the last Hunter level um, for birdhouses, but we don't have that many, like, high tier logs left. There's 38 Hunter. Beautiful. No unlock there. And no seed nest, just a regular nest. And last one, last chance. Okay, another ring nest. Well, we got one chance to get the willow seed from this seed nest. This time, we get a emerald ring. We get a gold ring. And we get another apple tree seed. All right, we just hit 39 hunter. What is the point of this as a reward, as a skill guide unlock? You can now smoke your traps. You use a torch to remove the human scent from them. It increases the chance you catch things by 2%. 2 2 what is the point of that? That is so bad. It doesn't give any extra XP or anything. It's literally just, yep, here's here's a say, here's 2% extra. That's crap. Uh, we do have two seed nests so and a ring nest, so sapphire ring. Let's see if we can get that willow seed. Come on. A Calcot tree seed. I mean, we're going to need one of those eventually, so that's kind of cool. And pineapple seed. Oh, I guess same deal. We're going to need it eventually, but I want the willow seed. While waiting for our birdhouses to catch some birds, decided to do our next thieving unlocks. So our first one was the Spring Sorceress Garden. So we've got some Spring Squirks here, and I think if we do this... Beautiful, some Spring Squirk Juice. Alright, we'll go hand that in for a huge amount of thieving XP, um, but we'll actually skip the level if we hand that in. So I'm going to go pickpocket a warrior and steal from a fruit store first to get the unlocks for those. Pickpocket from that. Perfect. Well, not pickpocket, but steal from it. And that's an easy task in the Karen and Kevos area. That is lovely. Let us in your pockets. Yeah, all right. Warrior completed. And some coins. 18 coins. Amazing. We have some squirk juice for you. Big XP drop. 1350. Huge. Thanks. Thank you, mate. And there's 26 thieving. No unlock. Nice. We got the Golovan over fruit top. So that'll be good for when we go to make a botanical pie later on. And we hit level 27. I accidentally kept clicking and skipped the level unlock. But yep, off to the seed stalls in Draenor we go. All right, here we go. I, on the way through here as well, and I've only just realized it came up in the chat, I checked my age at Hans and I hadn't done that yet. So there's an easy task in the Lumbridge and Draenor area. Thanks, Hans. All right, let's steal from this seed stall. Yes, first go. Nice. All right, that's our level 27 unlock done. So this is good. Not a lot of unlocks at these levels here, so it gives us lots of opportunities to get the willow seed from this bird nest. Ah, uh, another apple tree seed. Come on now. This bird nest. Come on, willow seed. Yes! Fuck yeah, baby! Come on! Woo! 
Ow, I just hit my hand on my desk. And yeah, skiddy up. That's so good. That's great. So now our level 30 farming unlock will be safe. But we still have to get past our level 29 farming unlock. Being the gout tuber. Um, well, sorry. Well, gout tuber in the gout weed. But we have to do Edgar's Ruse. So that's... um, Yeah. And do we get another willow seed? No, we get... Oh, yes! A banana tree seed! That's great! If I haven't got one of those already, we do need one of those for immediately after our willow seed. So, that is so good. There's 41 Hunter. Very nice. We can now trap Horned Grax. Sweet. Okay, let's get over to Karunja. Catch one of them. After we... Oh, I did it during the clip. I hate when I do that. I accidentally click on the person instead of the birdhouse spot. But let's see what seed we get from this nest. And another willow seed. Perfect. Very nice. These trees are fucking annoying. Okay, come on. Fall in the pit. Excellent. Oh, hobgoblin piss off. There we go. Medium task in the Karunja area. Excellent. That is fantastic. Okay, before we go over and get our birdhouse runs going again, I will be buying a Grark headdress and Grark legs and a Grark top because, once again, you cannot catch Grark until 41, Hunter, but you can wear the clothing, apparently, from 38. So tell me how that works out, but uh, there we are in our... Wow. <laughs> that is awful. That is just terrible. <laughs> I think we'll be keeping our bare feet. Actually, how does that look with the bare feet? Oh, that doesn't actually... <laughs> That's pretty shit. That's still... I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. But yeah, we're on to the willow logs for these. But that's 42 Hunter. We can now catch Essence Implings. That is bloody awesome. Palm Tree Seed. Hey, that's going to be good for the future. Nice. Oh no, I wasn't recording. <laughs> Okay, but there's an Essence Impling Court. Let's just catch this one as well so I don't ruin the clip. Ah, damn it. Well, that was a medium task in the Lumbridge area as well, so that's awesome. Let's catch this one. Come on. There we go. Essence Impling. Nice. Um, we caught an Earth Impling too. For some Wild Blood Seeds. Mind Talisman. Don't need it. Body Runes. Crap, but it's fine. Yes, easy clue. Okay, cool. All right, well, we've got Clue Scrolls. We've done our unlock. We can get the rest of our XP from our birdhouses, I guess, with one more run. All right, so I screwed up this morning. I uploaded a sneak peek for this video to my entire channel when it was meant to be just for members. I am a goose. I'm sorry. No, I'm not some marketing mastermind saying, hey, have a look at this. This is just for members. No, I am. I literally just clicked the wrong button. That was my bad. Sorry about that. To make it up to you, here is an easy casket. We tried to do the medium, but we need green dehyde chaps, meaning we need 40 ranged, meaning we need a mithril crossbow. Nothing in the game drops a mithril crossbow, so we're going to need to make it ourselves, which requires 54 fletching, which, due to our lack of wood cutting available, 54 fletching is kind of out of the way. We're just going to, yeah, for now, hold on to the medium clue and work on our ranged and our fletching coming up, but this will um, obviously be preceded by getting the rune axe, and we have a plan for that. We're going to get it, trust me. We're also going to get something cool out of this easy casket. Come on, baby. Ah, shit. Okay, we actually got two items. Charged Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll and a black cane. I think I am going to remove this collection log pop-up. I, I don't like it when we get a clue scroll and it just covers the whole thing. Yeah, nice. Okay, well, black cane... Why not? That's kind of cool. And Charged Dragonstone Jewelry Scroll, that might come in handy in the future. I'm not entirely sure. Right, we're here talking to Matthias. Matthias. And we want to have a go with your bird. And the second time we've said that this episode. This guy ch charges 500 GP though. Unbelievable. Now we have a falcon and now we can capture... Spotted Kebbets. That is a dark Kebbet. And we missed it. That's all right. We'll get this one. Come on. Give us our level 43 unlock. No. There we go. Yep, so we send the falcon out and then pick it up. 104 XP. That's pretty decent. All right, and that was absolutely rapid. That was so quick. Oh, come on. Catch. The we only need one more. Go, falcon. Go. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, come on. How many do you want to miss in a row? I'm about to go. Thank you. <laughs> and there's 44 Hunter. Nice, I shouldn't have buried the bone because it skipped the level message, but that's okay. We have now unlocked access to drift net fishing on Fossil Island with 47 fishing. With spotted cabot fur comes a spotted cape. And yet another example of we can catch them at 43, but we can wear the clothing at 40. I don't know why the skill guide is like this, but now we have, see currently we weigh four kilograms. We now weigh one kilogram. We have our first piece of budget graceful. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I just realized um, that to do drift net fishing, I need Numulite. Hey, what do you know? That actually worked. Numulite, so we need 200 of them by simply doing this. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> but, oh no, don't tell me you have to click each time. Oh my god. Well... Wow, that took a long time. <laughs> Ended up doing the rest of it on mobile pretty much, but we've got 205 Numulites just from doing this. Oh my god, hey, we just got another one. And when I started this, I was about 5k XP from level 65 mining, and now I'm a little bit into, you can see, 6.8% into 66 mining. Oh my god, so thousands of times we have done this. Could be yet another world first for old school RuneScape. Unbelievable scenes. Anyway, we've got our 200 Numulites to get in access to Driftnet fishing, and it seems like an absolute waste, but yeah, we've only got one Driftnet. So I'm just going to go in there and basically use it for one fish. And we have our 200 Numulite to gain access. We got five more initially because I thought that you needed five in order to harvest but it's only five to send the harvest straight to your bank so we got a little bit extra than required but let's see what happens if we just try and enter okay yeah here we go wait don't pay oh okay I thought it was gonna be like you go in for free pay 200 new lights and enter the instance yes let's do that there goes 200 oh my god that's a lot of hard work gone and then here let's navigate the plant door Beautiful. Okay, then we come in here and we set up a Driftnet anchor. This will be our one Driftnet gone. Alright, so let's. all we have to do here is gain some XP. So let's chase some of these fish shoals and hopefully they'll get caught in our Driftnet. Chase, chase. Fish look at you strangely and carry on your way. No. Get in there. Yes, there we go. XP drops, 46 XP. 52 XP for Hunter. Right, so with that full drift net, then we can now harvest the drift net. There we go. We got three puffer fish, some sardine, tuna, anchovies. I mean, that's pretty, pretty awful, but I guess we'll take that. Cool. Drift net fishing completed. That is one of our last fossil island unlocks. I ended up deciding to go Temporos, and we're about to hit. If, it, you know, if I bloody hit Temporos a couple more times. We're about to hit the big level for this episode. Come on. Come on, me. Yes, 48 fishing. Giddy up. We can now do barbarian fishing after we talk to Otto and do the training, of course. Uh, we won't get enough XP to skip that unlock if we just finish off this Temporos run. Oak planks, that's always great. Nice. Ooh, a casket. Yeah, nice. Raw lobsters. And Spirit Flakes. Okay, I think this is our first casket from Temporos. There's a lot of cool stuff we can get from this. And one of the things that I was did Temporos very early for at the start of the account was because you can get red topazes from this thing. <laughs> uh, but obviously, yeah, look how much we've had to do Temporos nine times, get a lot of XP to be able to get even one casket. So there's a lot of cool stuff we can get. What are we going to get? Oh my god, no way! <laughs> I just spoke it into existence! 
Oh my god. We can never escape the red topaz. <laughs> if you've made it this far in the episode, thank you very much for watching. Comment down below, you can never escape the red topaz. Because we never will. Oh my god. <laughs> There's, uh, you can't make this stuff up. It's just, that is just destiny right there. That's so good. And now, whenever we need them, look at those beautiful topazes there. That's so sick. All right. It's, uh, it's time for barbarian fishing. Let's not waste any time. Let's just go straight to the barbarian outpost and get this started. Strength is unlocked. <laughs> 